Hi guys. So for Silicone Mom Carol Mark here, another baby has just been born. And one thing about that, you guys, um, you have to allow Miss Carol to be creative. I can cut hair, you guys. I can cut hair. But it, uh, when I do baby dolls and they see the hair long and beautiful, they want me to leave it long. Well, this is not a toddler, you guys. This is an infant, and her hair should be short. And, we're, and I have it cut perfect to where I can style it in a baby uh, style, but she wants the hair to stay long because this is for a, a six-year-old, or se six or seven, she said. And she's her granny. She can't remember, and I don't know. So <laughs> she's six or seven. Anyway, her name is Amaya. So let's go ahead and get Amaya dressed. She has painted eyebrows. Eyelashes, brown eyes, beautiful brown eyes. Let me get you a close up. She has a full head of baby hair and it's long in the back, like the mommy wanted. So, but you guys have to allow me to be creative, you guys. I'm an artist and I do know how to cut hair and I do know what I'm doing. I just keep the hair long in here for my babies because I love ponytails and plaits and taking them out and people like to play with their hair. But for toddlers, that's cool. But for an infant, not so much. But it's starting to get repetitive because I'm, my babies are starting to all have the same hairstyle. But when you see the hair, allow Miss Carol to cut the hair because everything that comes out of my house represents me, you guys. And I'm known for the lady with the bun. You know, that's, that's just my babies. The other babies that I uh, that people allow me to be creative, like Joanne used to do, and everything like that, that day has passed. Everybody wants a baby with long hair, but it's just not um, feasible for, for it's good for toddlers, but for infants, I should say, they need baby hair. So, but anyway, the mom wants the hair long, so I I am like this. I have to do what the customer wants because they're the one actually spending the money. They're the ones going to have to to upkeep the baby. But when you get the babies, guys, I know you get them and you'll say, mm, maybe it will look better with short hair. And then you try to cut the hair. And then and when it doesn't turn out right, you try to sell the baby or you try to get someone to fix it and say, Super Silicone Mom did this doll for me. And then have me looking like I done cut, made a messed up cut or something. You guys, you know, you guys have to stop doing that. If I do something wrong, send it back to me and let me fix it. Please stop sending my work off to somebody else, letting them fix it, and then making it look like I can't do what I do. Everything that comes out of my house is a representation of me, so... You know, and the ones that do, you know, get someone else to redo their doll after I've done it, that's fine. You know, but don't just be going around saying, oh, Miss Carol did this, Super Silicone Mom did this doll and messed it up or whatever. You guys, when you ask me to do something, I do exactly what you ask. I don't, you know, the customer is always right. That's really not a true statement. I'm not a superstore or a Walmart or anything like that, but that's not always right. The customer is not always right when it comes to custom orders or something like that. Yeah, this baby's pretty with all that long hair. But for an infant, I just never seen an infant with hair born with hair born all the way down to their butt. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Oh, I was gonna get over get her over here and start dressing her. I forgot I was dressing her on camera. Like I said, I haven't been on for a while, you guys, because you know the reborn community is getting kind of funky. And what I mean by that, when uh, when there's a funk going on, that just means. You know, uh, it's just getting repetitive. Everybody's trying to do more than one person. Everybody's trying to, you know, or everybody's trying to down somebody. Oh, and let me say her uh, outfit says, Mommy. Can you see that? Yeah, her outfit says, Mommy. I just really got on here just to let off a little steam because soon as she said, Oh, I want to leave the hair alone. Uh, that broke my heart, you guys. Because just the other day, somebody tried to resell one of the dolls that I had given them. And uh, I don't know, something was wrong with it. And uh, I happened to see it. And I was like, wait, what? Uh, I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. But it sure did hurt my feelings, you guys. 
because what she had done to that doll, oh my gosh, and I'm glad I didn't sign my name to it like I have done some dolls. I only signed three dolls so far and I won't ever sign another one because people don't always take care of their things. They don't always take care of their dolls. And then, whether they got it from me or not, then they'll say who they got it from after the doll has been destroyed. And then, you know, that's hard on an artist's business, you guys. I just want to let you know. Please don't do that. Please don't. If I have if some work that I've done for you, send it back. Let me repair it. Please don't send my work around after you have destroyed it and then say that, you know, Super Silicone Mom did it. Yeah, if I did it. You're not going to get no messed up doll from me. If I'm, if it's something wrong with it, I'm not going to send it out, first of all. So, there she is, all dressed. Look at that cutie pie. I wish her mom would let me cut her hair, but she wanted long hair. And there she is. This is Amaya. This ain't my Amaya. This is just what she wanted to name her. I don't know where she got the name from, but that's what she wanted to name it. She has uh, eyelashes, too. She, isn't she adorable? Oh my gosh, if I could just cut that hair. <laughs> but anyway, hold on. I'm going to show y'all. Miss Carol can cut hair. Wait a minute. Just hold on. Hold what you got. Just a minute, you guys. I wasn't really wanting to show this because I haven't really got my line started yet. But just to show y'all, Miss Carol can cut hair. I do wigs, you guys. <laughs> so this is a Wop Bob wig that I just made. It's got the flip top in the back, flip up in the back. I mean. Real nice cut, tapered. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, you can't see it back there. So, cut. Flip up in the back. Miss Carol can do hair, you guys. I can cut hair. I make wigs. <laughs> I just still haven't shared this on YouTube yet. I make wigs, you guys. And my wigs are selling so good that I haven't even had to bother any of my YouTube people. I don't ever get a chance to show my wigs because as soon as I make them, they sell. So you guys, allow Miss Carol to be creative and cut your baby's hair. Don't just see it and see it and think, all oh, that hair, I can make ponytails and braids. When they're in, uh, toddlers, that's fine. I don't mind that. But when it's an infant, you guys, and this is only a six-year-old, she's probably going to cut this hair and... This baby's probably going to be destroyed, and then everybody's going to say this is a doll by Super Silicone Mom. But you saw it first here, right here on Super Silicone Mom's channel. This baby is gorgeous, and her name is Amaya. Look at that. Anyways, you guys, don't forget, like and subscribe. I'm not going to do anything to the hair. I'm just going to put it up in one rubber band in the back so that it'll look like this when I take do her photo shoot. Anyways, you guys, Miss Carol's out of here. Peace out. Give a kiss. Mwah! Say bye-bye.